Yo, 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 I'm back for another SVP tutorial. And, uh, yeah, today I'm gonna show you how to do a Y shake. Um, or how to do my Y shake. <laughs> how I do mine is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, yeah. Ow, shit. So everything here, you know, should be all good. You want to take your shutter duration and turn this shit all the way down. Like... Whenever you use blur mode, don't use shutter duration shit's ass and make sure edits look bad. And uh, we're gonna turn this into reflect. And we're gonna turn this into tile. And we're gonna keep this on full. And that's all the settings you need to mess with in blur mode for, um, you know, the scales for this. And uh, yeah. Let's get started. So, for this, I always like to start off with a little nice uh, zero point, maybe 300. Yeah, zooming in all the way. And I'm gonna go for it about, you know, one, two. And uh, I'm gonna change this to 0 0.9. Cause uh, you're gonna need that coming out. That, that sounded weird. And uh, we're gonna make this right here. This first keyframe, a fast fade. And we're gonna do the same on this other one. Now, what I want you to do is uh, see Shift Y right here. You're gonna take that and you're gonna edit with this. All right. So this is optional. This is how I make my shakes heavy. I saw um, another SVP editor do this. So. I kind of, uh, you know, started doing it myself. Take this and go 0, 0,500. And then you're going to go forward one keyframe. And you're going to take it and go to 500 plus. And then you're going to go forward another keyframe. And you want this to come down back to 0. And that should, uh, you know, it should be a scale. Yep, there you go. That's your scale. Uh, I'm not gonna do an outward one because, I mean, doing an outward scale is pretty easy. Um, pretty sure you would know how to do it. Now we're gonna move on to dissolve shakes, and uh, you can copy my settings for the dissolve. I'm gonna set this to 45. We're gonna set this to about uh one point eight yeah let's go with that and you're gonna set your dissolve speed to five all right now oh yeah and since it's a y shake you're gonna take x and you know just move this down to zero you don't need um x on this so now let's get into the keyframes all right so my first keyframe I always like to start with um, probably around, let's say, 0 0.30, wait, 0 0.330, yeah, let's go with that, and then we're going to go about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 keyframes forward, and we're just going to double click and uh, set this right here to 0. And we're gonna go back and change this right here to a fast fade and this bottom one well the, the second keyframe to a slow fade and uh, yeah if you're gonna do an outward scale or anything let's see one two three four five set this to a slow fade and uh, set this right here to about 0 0.350 and uh, yeah this is what it should look like now and now we're gonna move on to directional blur now this right here it's gonna make the white shake look uh, immaculate it's gonna make it look very good <sighs> I hate editing I, I, I honestly do anyway 
we're going to set this right here to 180. And uh, for everything else, you don't really have to change anything, honestly. And um, other than that, let's move on to the keyframes. All right, for keyframes on this, I like to go with my first one around, I don't know, let's say 105, 105, that should be good. One, two, and we're gonna set this to zero. Your first keyframe right here, set this to fast. You keep this on linear. And uh, yeah, for these uh, last ones, you're gonna keep this, well, you're gonna turn this into a slow and keep it on zero, don't change it. And for the last keyframe, let's say 102. And uh, yeah, keep it linear. And uh, all in all, this should be the final result. Obviously, you can add more things onto it if you want to. It's all your choice. You can copy my settings as you go through. And uh, yeah, and that's how I do my Y shake. And uh, yeah, there's some things you can add onto it to make it even, you know, more better. Like, uh, this is something I do sometimes. I go to black and white, go to 100%, and we're gonna, we're gonna keyframe this right here. Put a keyframe down here and set it to zero. So it does this. And, uh, yeah, you can fix your scales however you want to. Uh, you can add one here at the end and put it at 1,000. But I would set this one at the end if you do that to slow fade. And that should be your final result, honestly. And uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to do another tutorial. I'm not, I'm not really sure what to do them on. Uh, another thing you can do with your outward scales is um, go to, let's see, go to pinch and punch and reset to none, animate this, take this right here, drag it to the end, and uh, pull this back and set this to a slow fade. That's how you do the warp out. That's how I do mine. And this is. Alright. Thanks for, uh, you know, watching the video. And uh, my next tutorial, uh, I'll probably show off, like, I don't know, particles and how I do them. Um, other than that, you can follow me on Instagram. Never XO if you want to. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, later. Peace.